Hey guys, welcome back to D-Design. Today, we're going to design an onboarding UI in Figma step by step. We'll break this process into three main stages. Creating the wireframe, designing the UI, prototyping and animating. Let's start with wireframe. Start with an iPhone frame. Take a basic rectangle tool and define what are the elements going to be used in the design. We are planning here image, title, description and buttons. Okay, now we are going to start first onboard design UI. Duplicating the wireframe frame by using shortcut key control D. Remove all the elements. I have already copied a set of images I am going to use in this design. So pasting it in the file. Use the first image as per the wireframe. Next, give a nice title. I use Poppins font, medium size, line height 40, with text indent minus 5. Duplicate that text layer and use it for description. Change font size to 16 and color to light gray. Next, start to design button. Type a label of the button and change it into auto layout. Then give a fill to it and change text color as per the background. Give required padding so that it looks good. I gave also a rounded corner for this button. I am okay with this button. Now duplicate it to use it for skip button. Change the background color to white or transparent and change text color to light gray. Next, as per the wireframe, let's start creating a back button using pen tool. Define the size of the stroke and change stroke with rounded corners in both sides. Also change joints with rounded option so that we will get a nice back arrow. Convert it into auto layout by pressing shift A or by clicking mouse right button and give a proper padding and place it in the required place. So as per the wireframe, we placed all the elements. Now to enhance the designed UI, duplicate the image and give layer blur effect. Send that layer to back and resize it a bit larger. Looks better. Now to add the gradient wave, use pen tool to create it. Change the stroke size. Double click on it and select a node to convert into curve. Increase the width as required. Now give the gradient color. 
click on the color panel and click on the second one to create gradient. Drag to create one more color between those two. Now we have a nice gradient wave and place it into the onboard frame and send it to back. I have increased the stroke more to look good. It looks very good now. Once we finalize the onboard design, duplicate it for next onboard frame. Do repeat same things what we have done for the first onboard frame. Move the gradient wave so that we will get a nice animation. Now let's create third one. Let's add the current position elements. Start with stroke. Now we have all the proper UI of the onboard design. Let's do prototype and animate. Go to prototype panel and select the first frame next button to link with second frame. We will see a set of interaction properties. Change animation into smart animate. And change duration to 1000. Now do the same to another button. Do also for back button.
Now we have completed all necessary prototyping. Let's see the preview. Wait, all elements are looking good with animation except the current position elements. Let's fix it. Change it into a rectangle rounded box to get a nice animation. I remove the old one and use the new one in all onboard frames. Now we fixed it. Run the preview to check animations and transitions. Everything looks smooth and polished just as expected. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more design tutorials. See you in the next one. Happy designing.